And what is going on you guys? Welcome back to another Predator Hunting Grounds video. We got update 2.28 along with Hotfix 2.29 and we have some leaks to go along with it. It looks like there's six possible leaks and two of them which I believe are kind of skeptical but they still look really good nonetheless and I definitely want to mention it. So without further ado, let's get right into it. And the first thing I want to go ahead and start off with is looks like some data mining over on the left with a schedule list with how they're gonna break things down you know for uh Elphonic anniversary halloween holiday post launch test etc and then over on the right it looks like it could be some trophy data mine maybe we'll get some trophies here and there and some variants i know that there's probably not gonna be a whole lot more after this since they finished their roadmap but um this could also be fan made but this is saying that we're gonna get a, a different gun or a different attachment and uh you know it's kind of interesting but and then this one right here is uh saying that, that we could get a, a different variants for um weapon crates and different missions and so on and so forth so and this is another thing that i think that could be kind of fake since um look at the you know it looks like old man dutch on 87 uh, because 87 dutch has that um you know clothing but this looks really awesome if it is fan made and this looks like we could get a different dutch variant at some point um you know again not nothing too crazy but you know something i definitely want to go ahead and mention before i go ahead and talk about update 2.28 and i'm not gonna lie guys i really like this update this update is really awesome but there are some things that are just kind of disappointing and i'm gonna go ahead and talk about some of the things that i do like what i do really like is that we finally got nighttime mode and I said that if they're going to drop this, that they would probably be smart to drop it around Halloween time to give it that effect, and it definitely did. It is creepy as hell to run across the Predator at nighttime. Sometimes you can't even see him. He just comes right at you, and there's nothing you can do. Even as a day one player, um, I've gotten fucked up quite a few times that way. <laughs> so uh, I know some people will say, oh, you can parry this and that. I don't know, man. I think nighttime mode is going to evolve, but it's, it's super awesome. I definitely think it is way better than what we got last year. It's far better received than what we got last year. You know, we got uh, Clash last year, and, you know, even though I love Clash and I have a blast playing Clash, and a lot of my friends do too, but the, as a overall status, I think, you know, um, not a lot of people like Clash, and, you know, a lot of people like Nighttime Mode, and um, it's just super awesome. Mind you that something I definitely want to go ahead and throw in here is that to be able to toggle between your uh, night vision for fire team, you got to go to your options and go to edit your controller and then just go ahead and place um, whatever control that you want. I put mine on the left D-pad for, you know, and, uh, so that way I can just hit my left D-pad and it, it pops up, you know what I'm saying? So you can customize however you like. I definitely want to go ahead and throw that in there because if you go try to toggle between it, you, you, you can't, you know what I'm saying, unless you apply it. So you have to apply it first and then get into your match and then you can, you know, use it. And it's pretty, I mean, it's it's all right. I'm not going to lie, you know, and, and lit up areas like this cave, everything's going to be super bright. But in, in the darkness, you know, you can still navigate the predator pretty well. And, you know, you can see that the predator's bleeding, navigate and find him. I don't know, man. There's just going to be a lot of depth to this night mode. And uh, I, the one thing I'm kind of disappointed in is that we did not get Clash, for, you know, night mode. We just got Hunt. I was, you know, I'm disappointed in that because I think that that would add even more depth to night mode and or, or night vision or you know whatever this is, you know what I'm saying? It just is this big missed opportunity. I would have loved to blow people up in the dark and try to find them. And maybe that would have been the thing to counterbalance between my missile launching as, as me being in the dark. Maybe I can't, if I can't see them and I, I won't be able to get as direct hits or, you know, even blast radius or whatever, you know what I'm saying? That could have been something to toggle between and find out. Um, hopefully that definitely gets added, you know, it's a missed opportunity. Other than that, Night Mode is super awesome. I'm a big fan of it. <clears throat> so we got paid DLC, a new playable Predator. It is the Exile Predator, and he comes with early access with the Predator uh, weapon skin, the Hook, and it is a War Club variant. So... Man, I think this predator is super awesome. I like his backstory. He's a predator that um, has to adapt to the environment because, you know, I guess he got stuck there and, you know, he's, he's made of wood. You know, he's a wooden predator. 
And he looks pretty dope, I'm not gonna lie. Um, even though he has wooden armor, which makes him kind of squishy, and he's, 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 he's definitely a scout. There's no difference between him and a scout other than the, you know, uh, abilities and, you know, um, specializations. But, um, yeah, I mean, he's, he's super awesome. I definitely like the mask. One thing I am kind of a little, um, you know, curious about is that I wasn't able to find the tribal skin. Maybe is that something that Ophonic accidentally didn't put in the game, you know? I can't find him having the tribal skin, which kind of leaked his existence in the first place. And not to mention that we don't have his dreads. His predlock dreads are the exact same as the Elder, even though that you get, you know, to go to customizations, it'll say exiled tread or dreadlocks or predlocks and it'll say you know um elder right above it and even though they're identical and the same it has a different slot so why would it have a different slot you know so why, why not just just had the you know elder pred so i definitely think that Elphonic made this mistake and they will probably correct it so um other than that the pred are super awesome along with the hook uh, makes a war club uh, you know actually usable and a lot of people are going to use this. It's melee is super duper fast. Some people even said it's kind of broken, needs to be buffed. So, um, you know, but I, I, I like it. I think it's awesome. Another thing that's awesome is they added the level all the way up to 999. So for the first couple months, they had it capped out to 150. And we've been there ever since. Now that we can play up to level 999 in each 50 levels, we get a different trophy. Instead of going out in the loot boxes and getting trophies that way, I think that's super awesome, super creative. I love that. It's something that should have been done a long time ago. I have no complaints about that whatsoever. Some people do. I don't mind the grind. And the fact that they put that much level shows that they're going to add things in the game hopefully here and there not a whole lot not even a roadmap but they just add trophies add certain things come back for maybe a mode or a map or two at the most you know what i'm saying hopefully you know what i'm saying but they've kind of added it to where you can have a huge tourney scene within this community whether that's not if that's going to happen or not on playstation and pc side only time will tell but they've definitely left it to where it could have that ability and, um, you know, they've added some other things here and there, but, um, I don't know. I, I really like this update, but man, the one thing I'm, I'm super disappointed in, and, and it's, I just waited till the end for this is that I have at least in, in my time, uh, in, in this two day period playing this, I've had four to four hours each day. I've had eight hours playing this, you know what I'm saying? I have blue screened at least. 12 to 13 times and I've reported each and every one of them so that way Sony, PlayStation, Elphonic, whoever can figure it out long I've put the you know um what was the video and you know audio attachment to it so that it can be investigated further and I am not the only one um everyone is getting crashed blue screen it is so bad unbelievably bad I think that this update was super awesome but the performance and how it was dropped just wasn't ready. And I, I don't know if maybe they just rushed it because they wanted to make it on time for Halloween or I, I have no idea, but I, I do love this update. It has a lot of potential, but it has to be fixed. And I think there is gonna be a few more hot fixes and there's gonna be a few more videos and things to cover. So guys, let's just go ahead and stay tuned. Thank you so much for joining me this time and I'll see you guys in the next couple videos. Peace out.